family. Hey, what's up with it? Now, I have come on to do a video, but first I'm going to have to kick out a few people before we get started on this 20th day of January. It's Tuesday and Wednesday, one of the motherfucking days, I can't tell. And uh, it's about 9 o'clock in the a.m. And I got a video to do for my girl, no other than Miss Tashina Arnold. But before we get started now, we going to need the praying circle, the sewing circle, the uh, uh, such and such missionaries. All of them, we're going to need y'all to go ahead and step on up out of this one right here because we about to talk about some fun. We talking about all kind of fortification and all kinds of shit right now. And if it ain't your shit, I'm going to ask that y'all motherfuckers leave because by the time I get through, you're going to be able, you're going to be trying to throw all kind of mother you shit. You about to throw some bless all on the screen and this motherfucker, oh my God. Oh my God. You're going to do an exorcism on my motherfucking ass. You understand me? But that's just how I roll. Don't mean no harm, no disrespect. I ain't uh, throw it off, throw it to the left, twist it back, none of that old type of shit. I don't drink. This is not alcohol. This is coffee. This is just my persona. This is just the way I get down. No harm, no foul. If it ain't your shit, I'm going to ask that you go ahead on the extra stage right with the rest of these motherfuckers, please, and thank you. Okay, now that we're done, Clyde, did everybody go? Since you decided that you wanted to stay, you was like dicks and pussies. Uh-oh, I got to come in on this one. Okay, so come on in, Clyde. I see you You really want to see. Come on in, motherfucker. Let them niggas out the door. Okay. <clears throat> now, Tashina, Mama, listen. <clears throat> First of all, let me just give you a little background about me, okay? First of all, I've been there before, okay? I've been there before on both ends of the motherfucking spectrum. When I tell you I've been on both ends, both ends of the spectrum, meaning that, okay, I was married over 20 years, and I married an adulterer. So I know about that life. I was also in a subsequent relationship after, after, uh, the demise of my marriage, and I was involved with a guy that, you know what I'm saying, come to find out he videotaped it, and then a few few couple of weeks, months after that, the wife contacted me and was like, wait a minute, why is, uh, why is my, I'm looking at this video and my husband's ass is, uh, this right here, and, and his face is all up in your motherfucking this right here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been on both of them ends of the coin, okay? So, <clears throat> But, um, I won't say that that was the, girl, I can't believe you did that. Girl, oh, hell no. Nah. Because in the heat of the moment, that's what the fuck we do. Is, you know what, we about to make this motherfucker look real crazy. All of our buddies, all our motherfuckers that we used to roll with and get down with and play dominoes with and tongue and all that spades and shit. I'm gonna let these motherfuckers know that you have been on some bullshit. So I get where you was coming from with that, mama. I done been that motherfucker too. Because I done put a whole bunch of motherfuckers in my business and once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm mad at this nigga. But then they be looking at me crazy as motherfucker after I done realized, you know what, nigga, I love you. You love me. Okay, nigga, we back on. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, and they ain't got no understanding about that shit. Because, see, they ain't forgot what the fuck he done done. You know what I mean? They ain't, done, they ain't forgot. What the fuck he done done? They ain't understanding. Girl, you really took this motherfucker back after this nigga done done this right here? For real? Bitch, you crazy. Okay, we just gonna let her have that because this bitch is dunce. Um, put this bitch in the corner. Um, she on some stupid shit. You know? So, but you know, and I understand that women will, your girls will do that. I've had a couple of women in my life in the past that were like that. Bitch, you stupid. Fuck that. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Oh, girl, please. Oh, I can't believe. Bitch, is you crazy? I'm fucking you up. All that. Yeah, I've had girlfriends that basically, you know what I'm saying, just felt like I was the dumbest motherfucker on earth because I took this motherfucker back. But what they don't fail to realize is the sex be good in the motherfucker. When you have, let, listen, <clears throat> brothers, Cause see, look, uh, Tashina, I got about 65% motherfuckers is dudes that, that watch my shit. So, you know, I know they kind of in here like, Tina, you finna just tell all our secrets. I got to. 
Uh, I got to. I got to go ahead on because I'm talking to my girl right now. And then some of my girls, Loretta and all of them, they done came in. They, you know what I'm saying? They posted up, hi, Jennifer. You know what I'm saying? They done came in. They sitting up here like, what's happening? You know? I got Teresa over there. Shit, I got Kane. She over there. You know what I mean? My girls is in the room. You know what I'm saying? We all in support of Tashina. Because a lot of us done fucking been there. Now, some ain't going to admit to shit, which is fine. I'll be first motherfucking one to say, nigga, I done done all that. Every, every, every motherfucking thing that's been in, this motherfucker been accused of. You know what I'm saying? I've been in that on some of that shit on some way, shape, or form. Yeah. So, um, but bruh, uh, y'all going to have to let us have that right now because... My girl is going through some things. I understand. I see Wendy motherfucking ass gonna get you. But Wendy, now you already know that tattoo motherfucking leopard that you got. I already know that his motherfucking ass done ran pussy a while and you just ain't, ain't said shit. So then therefore, this is some regular shit. Okay? To motherfuckers that just ain't understanding. You know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Niggas are cheating on bitches nowadays. Okay? Now, a lot of motherfuckers want to, well, not my man, not my man. Okay, that's cool. If yours ain't doing that, then that's cool. But for some of us have, have had it done, you know what I'm saying? We looking through a different set of eyes. Now, not saying that every man cheats because every man does not cheat. Let's be clear on that shit. Now, I ain't met that motherfucker yet. But I know that he does exist somewhere. And before these motherfuckers put gardenias on the top of my motherfucking casket, I am going to have to see this nigga one, at one point in time in my life. Real shit. I am, nigga, I'm eager. Shit, nigga, I'm getting all my shit lined up on some Proverbs 31 shit for this good motherfucker to come into my life. You ain't even understanding, nigga. I'm, I'm bearing down the hatches, nigga. I'm mother hen. I'm, I'm gathering shit for the win. I'm all that old type of shit waiting on this real good ass motherfucker to come into my life. Real shit. Now, I do got me a motherfucker right now. Let me just go and say that right now, but that lets you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, this my dude, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel a particular kind of way about him. He feel a particular kind of way about me, but do I see this motherfucker as my end of the day? Not really. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Not with the bullshit that I be seeing sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be real about mine. I ain't going to lie to you, Tashina. For what? I'm one of the realest motherfuckers on this goddamn platform. Everybody want to make it seem like they shit is all on debt. All, girl, he loved me. That motherfucker shit. That nigga. Look what he done bought me, girl. My dude bought me this. This old cash for gold ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to make it seem like all they shit is all this and that. And oh, oh my God. And oh, he loved me. Bitch, did he just drop you off in your rag? For eight hours to be rolling your shit, got the key to the pad, plus got the key to your ride. You done filled the tank up over the weekend, so that nigga got gas to roll. And your motherfucking ass at work uh, letting everybody know how good your nigga is because he ate your pussy before you went to work this morning. Sit down, boo. Sit down. I done been in and done that. Okay, sit down. So, Tashina, let me just say that I understand where you was at with that, okay? Let me just go ahead and blast all this out to all our motherfucking friends, you know? And I'm certain, you know what I'm saying, some motherfuckers called you out and was like, girl, for real, that's fucked up. Well, girl, if you need anything or, you know what I'm saying, you need somebody to talk to or whatever, then, you know what I'm saying, um, get at me. Right, girl, I'm right here. I'm so sorry. You know what I'm saying? Middle of the night, you got some phone calls from some motherfuckers in the middle of the night. Girl, I'm so sorry. Oh, man, girl, that's fucked up. I can't believe he did that. That's some bullshit. I ain't gonna never look at him the same. You know they were saying it like that shit. You know what I'm saying? What else can they say? You know what I'm saying? They husbands have play dates with your husband and, you know, and all this old type of shit. The only motherfucker that's really rolling with you is the wife. And she's the one that's saying, you know what? Girl, my bad. Oh, man, girl, what can I do? Where the husband, his motherfucking ass sitting in the corner, some motherfucking woman be like, you know, I know that motherfucker was on some bullshit, but what can I really say? You know what I mean? His wife is my wife's best friend, and, you know, I mean, I've been knowing that nigga was on some bullshit. You know what I mean? But, I mean, how the fuck can I really say something? You know what I'm saying? Now I'm fucking up the bro code, you know? So it's like, really, could nobody really, it was a don't ask, don't tell type motherfucking situation, but for him to have been fucking several bitches for a period of time, yeah, it was bros that was up in here that was knowing about all that shit, too. It was, it's a certain look that they give each other. I think it's part of that handshake, that dab that they give each other. 
The words they let each other know, nigga, I see you, nigga. Yeah, you got a bitch on the side. I see you, motherfucker. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, yeah all this shit is lovely. Your wife is bad as fuck, too. But, nigga, I see you, motherfucker. I see you, motherfucker. Look, low key, nigga, I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. Yeah. One of them. You know? So, <clears throat> but mama, what can I say? Other than... Surround yourself by some good, good girlfriends. The ones that understand. The ones that ain't gonna be like, girl, fuck him. You don't need them kind of motherfucking friends. Ladies, for those of y'all that's in the building right now that's checking me out on today, you don't need girlfriends in your life that's basically all they doing is telling you, girl, fuck him. Those are the ones that don't have a man in the first place. They probably ain't had a man in some time, so then therefore they don't have, they don't have those same type of feelings. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that same type of thing going to where they could be a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, uh, sympathetic, empathetic, why the way, whichever way you want to put it, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to be that way if, they don't, if they've never really had it. See, there's a lot of women that don't know nothing about love. It's a lot of women that has never been in love. You know, low-key, it's a lot of women that have never been in love. It's a lot of women that they ain't never been married before, want to, but they, that just never happened for them. And those are the ones that these niggas can just about say any motherfucking thing to, and them niggas can hit it by 9 o'clock, I promise you. Them niggas is laying across the motherfucking bed watching Empire, you know what I'm saying, while she's stuck in his dick, and he watching motherfucking uh, uh, cooking them, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, this niggas watching this shit right now. They got a bitch that they can call any motherfucking day out of the goddamn week, and this bitch sucking nut. Asshole, every goddamn thing. Plus playing that, paying that nigga Boost Mobile and all that old type of shit. Niggas watching this shit right now. You understand me? Niggas got it going on right now, and I ain't really mad at them. That's why I say, you know what, shit, let me make my shit marketable around this motherfucker. Whereas I ain't got to deal with not now, motherfucker, I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? The whereas nigga, uh, you can exchange niggas back. You know what? Let me just go and exchange this nigga for that one. You know what, nigga? Okay, it's been cool, but no, nah, let me exchange your motherfucking ass for this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just about gotta be marketable nowadays. You do. You know, like I said before, a big ass is equivalent to a master degree around this motherfucker nowadays because that's that's what these niggas is. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, it's like everything. It's all over the TV. It's all over everything. A woman with a badass figure, she ain't really got no motherfucking man problem. But the motherfucker that she really loved, that nigga's running the monk, though. Let me just go and tell you that part. The motherfucker that she really cares something about, that nigga don't see her for her worth and none of that shit. That nigga just like, oh, well, I can get me another one of you. Try it, motherfucker, yeah. Try it. Whereas, listen, I know I'm all over the place. Phone and shit ringing off, you know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is this right here, mama. I understand. I'm not going to. I can't tell you, leave your husband. I can't tell you, you know what I'm saying, fuck all this. I can't, I can't tell you that because I'm, I'm not that type of woman. I'm a fully seasoned woman. You know what I'm saying? A woman that done been there and done that. I'm one of them ones that already know that this motherfucker is going to start an argument on Tuesday. He going to throw a little something out there on Tuesday that, that, you know, he ain't really liking. You know what I'm saying? He going to throw some dumb shit out there. Um, baby, uh, you know, I've been, I've been wondering, is you gonna get some clothes washed this week? Um, you know, I've been, I've been looking for, you know, my jacket, I can't find it, I, can you do that for me? And then come Thursday, and the motherfucking jacket still ain't came, now it's gonna be a blown out argument now, because now he's, he's been talking little bullshit for the last few days, so then therefore throwing out these little things, Sometimes you bite on it, sometimes not. But you got to watch that shit because they'll start like on Tuesday evening with some bullshit. Throw that out there to kind of get you a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Let me just go ahead on and throw this out here my phone ring. Throw this out here so then therefore I can get some little thing going. So by the time Friday come, now I say, fuck this. You know what? You've been tripping all motherfucking week. I've been trying to be nice. I've been trying to do this right here. But yet and still, whatever the fuck I do, it's like, you You know what I'm saying? You're trying to take a nigga for granted and shit. You're trying to do this right here. So fuck it. I'm gone. I'll be over there at my homeboy house for a little while, shit, because you up here bullshitting. And I can't take it no goddamn more. Now, now he over there. <clears throat> he over there with this new bitch. You know what I'm saying? Then therefore, now, it's low-key off his motherfucking conscience because now he done threw the shit out there that you done had your, had your motherfucking... You been at the house sitting up like, damn, 
how in the fuck this nigga gonna argue about this shit? Didn't we just go through this bullshit about six weeks ago? And now all of a motherfucking self now, it's like this shit done made this nigga so motherfucking mad to where he just had to leave. I mean, this actually made you leave? No, mama. He was trying to get out to go and do what it was that he was trying to do. He been buttering that bitch up all week. Okay? Letting her know, well, what you doing on Friday? What you gonna do on this day? Well, it's a new movie coming out. Let's go see Concussion. Or let's go do this right here. Maybe I like to take you out to eat and all this old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, then therefore, he working on the new bitch. He starting an argument with you. By the time Thursday and Friday come, it's a big ass to do. Now he gone. Got you thinking he over there to his friends, over there at his friend spot. He telling him not to answer. Look, when she called your phone, let that shit go to voicemail. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You nigga, you already know what I'm on, nigga. Then when she get to calling, cause she gonna be calling, nigga. And then she gonna be asking your girl about what I got going on and all this shit. Nigga, you don't know nothing. That's all you tell her. I don't know nothing. And then that's where it's at. So now he done got his old boy, his, his homeboys and shit on it. They girls, they don't even know what's going on. And all the while, it's been a game, mama, and you've been played the fool. You know what I mean? So this is the kind of shit that kind of go on. You know, I'm a seasoned vet in this thing. I just look like this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I already know the tricks and the trades and the games that these niggas play. You know, it just, you know, either you're going to be the prey. You know what I mean? Shit, fuck that game recognized game, nigga. Who turned it? You know what I'm saying? Because, see, that's why I am the way that I am. I done been through too much shit. I didn't get this way through osmosis. You know what I mean? I'm just sharing the shit to another motherfucker that's, you know what I'm saying, willing to listen or whatever. Get get what you need and keep going. Do it moving after that. You know what I mean? They ain't, they, these motherfuckers ain't got me set up that tough to where, you know what I'm saying, I can't come on this motherfucker and tell the truth. Fuck that. I'm going to tell the truth. Because it's a whole bunch of women that's watching this motherfucker that's fucking with niggas. And you know motherfucking well he got a wife. You know motherfucking well he got a woman, baby mama, whatever. He got a woman attached to his motherfucking ass. Because while he with you, his motherfucking phone over there ringing. If that motherfucker ain't ringing out loud, goddammit, you hear that motherfucker jingling against them goddamn coins in his pockets. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker vibrating right against a nickel. And you like, damn, what the fuck is that? I keep hearing some shit. His motherfucking cell phone in his pocket and it's vibrating against the motherfucking dimes and shit in his pocket. Yeah. Because that's the woman that really cares something about his motherfucking ass. He care about her too because that's where he can go and lay his motherfucking burdens down. And the motherfucker can sleep good at night and he ain't got to worry about her taking some shit from him. Doing some shit to him and all that other kind of shit. This is the bitch that he really feels safe with. But this bitch over here, bitch, I want some pussy. That's all the fuck I'm trying to do. Can I get some pussy? Because my motherfucking woman is on her period. She's spotting already. Can I just get some pussy, please? I just want some pussy. See where it go. If it don't go nowhere, nigga, I holler. Okay, now I'm back over here with my woman. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Look, I know it. Valentine's Day coming. You want to go see Charlie Wilson or something? I'll buy you the hat and everything. They got the CWs on the side with motherfuckers be glittered up. But that's out the game. Baby, can I take you to go see Charlie Wilson, please? Yeah. Yeah. Then he gonna give you them motherfucking baby, I'm sorry, red roses. Fuck them. Now, you tell that motherfucker I want some gardenias. A whole motherfucking dozen of them motherfuckers. Baby's breath and all that shit, nigga. I want the greenery and all that shit, nigga. I want a nice-ass motherfucking base. I want my shit cold. I want gardenias, please. Yeah. So, anyway, Tashina, I know I've been around the world and I, yeah, yeah, mama, but I felt something this way. You know what I'm saying? I felt, you know, I was like, oh, my God. You know, somebody... You know, because I know everybody was probably going in. Oh, why she do this? Why she post this out here? Because she was going through what she was going through at that moment. And it was to make that nigga look crazy. Which it made him look crazy to the women. But it didn't make him look crazy to the men. Because the men was like, is that all that nigga did? Oh, shit. Did he? Oh, so apparently. Oh, did, did he see her suck, his, uh, suck her pussy too? Oh, my God. What all was on there? Oh, he was just hitting that bitch from the back? Oh, pff, that's some regular shit. But was she sucking his dick? Did he, did he see that part? Yeah. See, that niggas don't give a fuck about the video thing. They just want to know what was shown on that motherfucker. What all? Damn. And it showed that he was sucking her pussy. Oh, my God. Because we, were, we feel a different way about that shit. Real shit. That's some up close and personal shit. So when I got that phone call from the wife and she was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, wait a minute, but I saw my husband's ass up in the air while he was laying on, laying on top of you, and his ass looked like it was tooted up, but he was all, his face was all up in this right here, and I just want to know what kind of woman was you. I said, wait, 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 no, hold on, hold on, hold on, who is you? That's how I found out he had a wife. 
I didn't even know. So see, some of them women that he was fucking with, they probably didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? And if you living over here and he living over there, then therefore, shit, he felt like this shit was a go. Which, that was all disrespectful any motherfucking way. So I wish you hit his ass upside his motherfucking head when all this shit came. Tashina, I hope you bombed on that motherfucker. Really. I really, because, well, I can't do nothing but speak on how I be feeling. Because fuck that nigga, I got to hit your ass with something real shit. I'm going to have to hit your motherfucking ass with something. Because, first of all, I'm already mad. And now that all this shit right here, nigga, you don't put your mouth on this bitch, too? I'm fucking you up tonight. Give me a 2X in that motherfucking jumpsuit, because I'm going to need it. And uh, I'm a girl, I'm going to have to call you, because here's I'm going to give you my debit card. I'm going to leave it on my motherfucking dress in case you need to get this rent. This motherfucking bail money for my motherfucking ass. I might not be able to help you with your rent this month, bitch, because I might need you to get me out of this motherfucker down at the Twin Towers at this motherfucker, because I'm going to fuck his ass up. Nigga, you did what? That's the ultimate disrespect to us. For you to lick on another motherfucker's pussy? Now, if you just fuck this bitch from the back, we're gonna feel, still feel a particular kind of way. But when you done ate a pussy, though, oh my God, nigga, that's, that's on a whole. That's like, oh my God. That's like the ultimate disrespect. That's worse than bringing a baby in. Really. That's just, it's, well, uh, no, nah, it's not. That's not, because that baby shit is some, that's some, Woo, that's some decade shit that you got to deal with. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I don't wish that shit on nobody. Now, I ain't never been on one of them motherfucking hot seats to where my husband had brought a baby home. Oh, my God. That's a whole d nigga. Oh, I, OJ, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Go, go. Ronald Goldman, that motherfucker was just in the wrong place at the wrong motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Look, I ain't, look, I, I ain't gonna kill nobody. I, I ain't one of them motherfuckers, but I understand why that executive producer came out with Snapped. I understand why that bitch came out with it. Because that shit there, now you can go and cheat on your women all you want to, brothers. You can cheat on these bitches all you want to. But when it come out that you done ate this other bitch's pussy, that's when bitches is gonna go irate on you. Now you just fuck this bitch from the back or whatever. She mad, but, you know, she she kind of, you know what I'm saying, what all did you do to her? Yeah, because you know we got to ask that shit. What all did you do? Did you kiss that bitch too? Did you buy that bitch a sandwich? Did you take that bitch to go eat? Did you buy that bitch some song? Did, 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 did you pay that bitch rent? Yeah, we're going to get to asking all kind of questions like that because we really don't want to know, but we want to know because that gives us ammunition on the next motherfucking argument, so we can, it's going to guarantee us a win. Because, nigga, you can't tell me a motherfucking thing after you ate that bitch's pussy in the motherfucking car the other night, nigga. Don't you say a motherfucking thing to me. Yeah. See, so it gives us a little something to stand on. You know what I'm saying? All of the other subsequent questions that we asking you. And then don't let us get the bitch on the phone. Because, see, Tatina was probably one of them. I've been one of them motherfuckers, too. Give me your goddamn cell phone. Shut the fuck up and give me your goddamn cell phone right now. Don't say shit to me. Nigga, you going through that motherfucker screenshot and all kinds of shit. Bam, bam, bam. You got one. You got your cell phone in this hand, this nigga's cell phone in this hand, and you calling the numbers and hanging them up on your phone. So then, therefore, now they on your motherfucking call off. So you can call them bitches tomorrow in the middle of the daytime. So then, therefore, you can send them bitches a text and say, this is what the fuck I'm working with. And he was fucking with you, bitch. What you look like? Then she going to send a picture back and say, well, bitch, oh, yeah, your dude did this right here. He paid my Boost Mobile. Girl, he also took me down there and got me some fish and fries and shit. Hell yeah, that motherfucker done done all kind of shit. Girl, I got a pedicure about three weeks ago from that motherfucker. Yeah, because you know he's going to get some low budget bitches that's on that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You know, because niggas, really, when they cheat on you, they cheat on you, they go they they go below you most times. They ain't, they ain't cheating on your ass and going up. They cheating on your motherfucking ass going down. So the ones that's going down is them ones that be on some old Boost Mobile they be on some Bacardi and Coke. Them bitches is on some nigga. You bring a dime bag of weed, nigga. I'm going to suck your dick till you go to sleep. Them bitches right there. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfucking bitches was, was pouring up eggnog a while for them niggas last month. You understand me? Nigga, make sure you bring the brandy, nigga. Uh, girl, shit, honey, shit. Girl, I'm finna, girl, I'm finna do all this shit to this nigga tonight. I'm going to make him think that he's going to be mine for real. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing niggas a twist. <clears throat> 
All that pussy that motherfuckers was giving up last month with hopes that they get them a little Jenny Tay motherfucking cologne set and shit watered down. Did y'all get it? I don't know. Because side bitches don't get no benefits. They really don't. Because that two-piece and fries, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Really. Because the way you can really measure if a motherfucker care about you, he going to do for you. Wherever his motherfucking money go, that's the one that he really give a fuck about. Because men are going to put some money on what really matter to them. And that's either their motorcycle, their motherfucking car, because the car going to have a full pimped out ass stereo system. And beep, beep, and nigga, I can start my car for my keys, nigga. I'm over here at the restaurant paying for my shit. Can I get a pack of them block mouth, please? Yeah, he see these other motherfuckers coming in, but he want to let them know this charger out here. Nigga, I can start this motherfucker right here at the restaurant. Nigga, <laughs> nigga lights and shit that came on. Motherfuckers, shit that cut on is getting warm. All that old type of shit. But that's what they love. That's what they care about. So that's what they're going to spend their money on. You know, and if they care something about you, they're going to, you know, drop a few dollars on your motherfucking ass. You need that bundle of three. Okay, baby, no problem. Okay, here's a hundred dollars on it because they're going to think that that's what it costs. By the time them niggas fucking realize that this shit's four, five hundred motherfucking dollars, shit, them niggas going to have your ass on AliExpress. And I ain't going to be able to give you no four hundred dollars for no motherfucking hair now. Hell? Four, five, or nothing? Nah, we ain't gonna be able to do that. Now, it, but it's a beauty supply place down the street. They ain't got what you need. Nah, nigga. Yeah, anyway, uh, Tashina, I'm with you, mama. I knew I, you know what I'm saying, divert. That's just what I do, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, no, disrespect, no harm, no foul. Anyway, uh, I'm out of this motherfucker, mama. I hope the best for you. I really hope that, you know, you can get up and get over, you know. I hope some of your girls really, you know, talk you down off some shit. Because I know you was cliff bound after this and you was really, really contemplating some felonies. You know what I'm saying? On this motherfucker, excuse me, this motherfucker right here in this butt. Especially when it was more than one. You got the video to look at this shit. Oh, my God. Man, look. Anyway. Girl, I love you. Love you for watching. And girl, stay in this thing, mama. You know, they don't change their stripes. They simply change where they feed. And it's just how we gonna deal with it. Because they gonna do them any motherfucking way. There's nothing you can do about that. A woman can't hold no man down. He has to be tired. He has to be tired of the game. And that's the only time the game ceases. That's the only time the game stops. You can fuck the shit out of them. You can feed them. You can do all this shit. Pay their bills. Do all this shit. Get his motherfucker some blood. Get a nigga a kidney. But if he wants to do what the fuck he wants to do, there's not a pussy in the land that's going to make a man faithful. It's not. You can have them because, the, you know, everybody got good pussy. It's just what the fuck you do with it and how that motherfucker going to smell. You know what I'm saying? If the motherfucker get hot or do it, need, uh, you know, get wet or do it, need an additive. Hell, all them different things. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not it's loose or tight. But all pussy is good pussy if you know what to do with that motherfucker. Let me just go and tell you that. That's on a whole nother motherfucking video. You want to get a nigga fucked up? Get a nigga sprung? Any woman got that ability to do that, you know? But if he's just going to drop all and be all with you, he got to want to. On that note, deuces, I'm out. I'll holler at you later.